Good morning, guys or girls. Or it might not even be morning when you're watching it. It might be evening, it might be night time. But for me, it is eight o'clock in the morning. And as you see, the Czech brake light is on the Mercedes. And I don't know if you're anything like me, if there's a light on the dash, it literally does my absolute head in. So it's got to be done. It's got to be changed. I know the, it's the brake wear sensor on the brake pads. And I know my discs, I've noticed them before. They don't look 100% and I can sort of feel a fluctuation in my pedal when I'm braking. So I, I think they're slightly warped anyway. So that's why new front discs and pads. Um, I did the rear not too long ago. Um, and they ain't cheap either. They, they weren't cheap because they're drilled discs and uh, they're quite thick as well. So it's eight o'clock and we're gonna go down and change these discs and pads. So let's get down to the garage. Now, before we start, um, for the viewers which haven't saw my E350, uh, my E350 before, I'll just do a quick run round of the outside. So obviously, here's the E350. If you've watched all the previous videos, you'll see that I've done many mods to it, like lowered it, put a new wing on the back, the wheels have gone on it, the grill's changed. There's been a few lot, little, uh, mod little modifications that have gone on throughout the channel, so just go back and watch all them videos if you're curious about that. But as for today, it is the brakes. Normally, we would go into the garage now, and, well, into the half-done garage, and do these brakes, but today, we can't because the TT is in there and it's completely stripped apart um, as it's being wrapped and everything and I will go in there and give you guys an update on that if you're following the channel because of the TT build. Um, so today we're going outside and we're going to be doing the brakes here. So I'm going to be freezing, hence why I'm in the biggest jacket ever. So let's get doing this, let's go. can see it looks like the the disc is sort of scored so we will need replacing pads are looking um, pretty low so let's just get this off and change it for the new ones so we've got to disconnect the wear sensor wear sensor little uh, retaining clip. So, before you start this, it's a good idea to remove the uh, cap off your brake reservoir. Now, I've just got my screwdriver in here and I'm just sort of working back the piston, just so when I come to take the caliper off, because of the lip on the pads, uh, the lip on the disc, it might stop them coming off. So I'm just pushing back the piston now. That should be enough. So it looks like we've got 213 mils on the top. There we go. And that is the top half of the caliper off pads. They are really worn, actually. Okay, guys, so the 218s behind here. My battery made on this camera, which sucks because I thought it was charged. So 218s are off, and that's the uh, back of the caliper. Be, I think, a T30 to undo this. So let's do that. I'm gonna turn the camera off whilst I do it, so preserving the battery. So the little Torx bolt is out. I put a wheel nut in just to stop the disc completely falling out. It do it. So that is out now and I'm quite lucky. The disc are completely off. Wire brush here. Just so when the new disc is gone, it sits nice and flat against the hub. Fresh disc. I love a fresh disc mate. It'd be nicer if it was free. Back in. Yeah. 
lovely stuff. Take this out now. Before we put the pads in, I'm going to check these slide pins. They should move nice and free there. They don't, so I'm going to take these out and grease them. In is these slide pins, which uh, slide in and, in and out here. Just making sure they're nice and greased up, cleaned them up, and uh, pop them back in. I pushed the piston back in using some big clamps. Just uh, use the G clamp and squash the piston back in. Um, all the brake, all the. Um, brake fluid has been pushed up into the brake reservoir which we've undone the lid of. New pads in. I'm going to put the, the caliper mount on first. I'm going to put this on first. Okay, so that's on now. All I'm going to do now is pop the pads back into this caliper, slide it back onto there. Um, so here's my brake pads. I'm just going to apply a bit of copper grease to the rear. Let's Go. There we go. Paddy supplies us with some new uh, bolts for the slider pins, and they've got fresh lock Loctite on them, so I'm going to use them instead of the ones are taken off, there's obviously a reason why they've supplied new bolts. So let's pop them in there, 13 mils. What we do is pop this retaining clip on and then we need to put the wear sensor in. Um, so let's pop this retaining clip back in. Now, I ain't gonna lie, getting that retaining clip back on was quite difficult. You sort of have to rest it in there, get a screwdriver and then put, wedge it, um, I sort of had to rest it in there, get a screwdriver and sort of wedge it back onto there and I mean the tension on that spring is quite high. So that that is quite difficult. Now we're going to put the wear sensor in. And then, you know what, I always set out not to do these how-to videos because people always just hate saying I've done something wrong but it looks like I'm doing it now, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, assume that pops in there. Clips into that. Just clips in there, wear sensors in, brakes done, put your wheel back on, and we're good to go. Now obviously before we do anything, we are gonna pump the brakes, otherwise we'll end up going into the back of someone. So just pump the brakes very slowly till you get a hard pedal, and then we'll put the cap back on the top of the uh, brake reservoir, and then we're all good. So guys, if you've watched it this far, thanks a lot, make sure you subscribe. Now before we go, if you have watched this far, it's a little treat for all the viewers that have uh, seen this far um, because a lot of you would turn off as soon as you see what or how it's done. Now behind me is the TT, a bit of an update. Um, so, quite tight in here. So, as you can see, the, uh, the front wing is wrapped, the front um, bonnet is wrapped, front bonnet, the bonnet, and um, this wing is wrapped. So all we've got left to do now is uh, wrap the front bumper, which is the S-Line one, and then that will go on and that's the whole front end wrapped. Taken the side skirts off, and I've also taken the door off because we're gonna be wrapping the whole of the door. Guys, the, um, the battery died on my camera. So actually, I think this camera's probably better in here. You can see the TT. Um, so, Basically, that's all the TT, that's everything covered. Um, I'm gonna end the video on my phone. If you've watched this far, cheers. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.